Hey guys, welcome back. So for today, we are going to be doing the latte look makeup look. It is trending all over TikTok. I do see a couple people um, doing like longer form videos on YouTube as well. And this look, I did it the other day. Well, I did it like a couple days ago or like actually probably by now it's been like a week or two ago. And I absolutely love this look. It's my go-to look. I have done this look plenty of times in the past before I even had a name. Um, and it's just that bronzy summery look. And so I am very, very excited to go ahead and show you guys how I achieved it. And I loved how it came out. I will go ahead and post a couple pictures so that way you guys can see what I'm talking about and what the references are. So I will go ahead and do that. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is actually just pin my hair back. So how are you guys doing? How is your summer going? I know for me, um, it's just been raining a lot. I live in Pennsylvania and it's just been raining literally like almost every single day. We just had a flood this past Sunday. My home, my area is okay, but a lot of people got a lot of damage. And so it's just, the summer has not really been the best. And me and my husband decided that we're most likely gonna do a staycation and just do like fun things like go to the beach, go to the amusement park, things like that for our vacation. Cause I'm scared to go anywhere because I feel like it's just like this everywhere right now in the United States where it's just so rainy and I'm scared to book anything and go anywhere and just have it rain all week. So we are probably just gonna stay at home, but yeah, it's been literally such a bummer. I already had my first cup of coffee, so I did go ahead and brew me a decaf cup because I still wanted to like drink something, you know? All right, so first I'm gonna go in with a matte infallible um, primer. This is just like a little small. I don't even know where I got this from. I think I got it from like a sample or something from Ulta or definitely not Sephora. So I don't even know where I got it from, but I already, got, I already did my skincare and I already sunscreen on. So just make sure if anything to put your sunscreen on because we need to be protected. So my skin had a good like 20 minutes to absorb all of that and it is still like hot and muggy out so even though this look is bronzy and glowy i want to keep my natural oils <laughs> at bay so that's why i'm going in with a matte primer first i even kind of glide it over my brows to keep my brows in place and then just anywhere where i'm just going to need a little extra help i just want to say too i apologize if my volume is so low on my videos i can't figure out what's causing it because when i edit my videos the volume sounds normal and then when I upload it onto YouTube it just sounds so low and you gotta like turn your device up so high like someone that I know pointed that out to me and I apologize I don't know like you know how to fix it or what's causing it so my plan is that if I hit 1,000 subscribers which I'm hoping you know we're almost at 500 but if I am consistent enough and hit 1,000 subscribers I will go out and buy a whole new setup and get my videos like upgraded and look more like clear and professional and all of that. I will go ahead and make that investment. It's just a little scary to make that type of investment right now. If you find yourself revisiting my channel and watching my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button guys. Like it doesn't cost anything. And if you change your mind about me, then you can just go ahead and unsubscribe. Like that's okay, but go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give your girl a chance, okay? So next, to start that glow, I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. This one's in the shade Deep Glow 904. A lot of people have been using this as like a dupe for the, what is it, the bronze drops from Drunk Elephant. Um, so everyone's been using this as for that. So I'm gonna go in with this, just like a little bit, just to kind of start my glow. You don't wanna put too, too much, especially if this is not technically a correct shade because this will make you look very, very bronze. Eh? All right, next I'm going to go in with the Neutrogena Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. So the goal of this look is to keep your face looking like your skin, looking a little bit more natural, just natural and bronzy. You don't want to look too glam. You don't want to look have like full coverage. So I'm just going to go in with just a little bit of that. I'm using the shade Sheer Tan 30. And this is just gonna help a little bit with like the redness and 
like just kind of help even out my skin tone a little bit but again not as much coverage next i'm gonna go in with some concealer this one is the joa perfect complexion eye serum concealer i'm literally all out of it i cannot twist it up anymore so i'm just using what i have left on the sponge but just a very like lightweight concealer and then i'm just gonna spot conceal anything that i don't want this look is super quick too so the video is going to be a bit longer because I'm explaining, but when I do this look, it's so quick. What, baby? Why would that noise? They're cutting the grass. Oh, baby. Okay, yeah. Go paint me another picture. Okay. All right. Some people do like underpainting, but because I use such light sheer coverage as my base, I don't really do the underpainting. Um, I haven't really gotten into that, so I just stick to what I know. But this is the Putty Bronzer. This is the Luminous one. This one is in the shade Seaside Shimmer. And so because it's just a more um, of a natural bronze, kind of, you know, like it's not too full coverage, it's really nice. So I'm just gonna go in with this and just kind of bronze up my face. I just kind of put it where I want it and then I will go in and there is a weird spot does anyone have this weird like I don't, it's not a condition I don't even know what it is but there's always a spot on my skin that will not hold on to any pigment it doesn't matter what the product is does that happen to anyone else because it is annoying now for this look I don't wear any blush because the whole point of it is just being bronzy and golden so I do not put any um, blush on so next what I like to do is I like to use some faux freckles this is from Lottie London it's the freckle tint it's so affordable and I love it and it lasts so what I do is it just comes on like a little brush like this and I start off around my nose and then I really just kind of just literally dab over it and then your finger is gonna pick up the product and disperse it some more in other random areas i do a couple at a time so that way it doesn't dry down and look too pigmented and if you feel like you're going to go too over like the top then what i do is i will go like put like a blush or a bronzer over top of it but sometimes i will go right on top as well if i really want that dramatic freckle look so I'm gonna go in with a bronzer. This is the MAC Give Me Sun, a classic. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of continue to warm up my face. And then I just like tap a little bit, tap most of it off, and I'm gonna go over the bridge of my nose, just like how you would blush. And that is just to just make you look super bronzy everywhere. Then I'm gonna use a shadow brush and put that same bronzer into my crease then I'm gonna take a little bit and go underneath as well and then I'm gonna go in with my Mario palette this is the like all did my daughter's in the room with me and she loves to be with no pants she hates pants unless she needs to wear pants she hates wearing pants and when I'm filming I hate when she's on camera with no pants just for pull up so, so I'm gonna go in with the shade right here and I'm gonna use that for my brows all right so the next part that I'm gonna go ahead and use is the Huda Beauty this is the bomb brow full and fluffy so this kind of just helps your brows look a little fluffier but kind of still stay a little bit more on the natural side and literally guys if you have the perfect brows then you really don't need to do a whole lot to your brows you can just Put some clear brow gel and fluff them up all right so this is like the fun part here we are going to be going in with the milani gilded eyeshadow stick this one's in 04 desert i love this so much and a lot of the looks it's like you know bronzy and just beautiful and then the eye just has this like nice shimmer you can like go in with a little bit of like a matte if you want but um, but I do see a lot of them go in with like some shimmer on their lid so I used this last time and it is so good and it stays and the shade is like perfect 
And then I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow stick. This, one's it. this one is in the shade Bronze Garnet. And this one is more of a deeper bronze. And so I'm going to use this to just kind of go more closer to my lash line. But again, it's still going to be bronzy. It's not going to be matte. It's just going to be glowy and beautiful. And I just like smudge it out a little bit. Nothing complicated, nothing too crazy. Like I said, this look in total can take me like 10 minutes to do when I'm not like explaining it. But you just see how just like the eyes just look so like effortlessly and sexy like I just love it so much and then I'm gonna go in with some uh, mascara they don't really seem to be putting too much mascara on the eyes they're still keeping it natural they're not going in with falsies or anything this mascara is the squirrel squirrel lush volumizing mascara I do use their serum as well and then I don't have the gloss with me right now it's actually in my purse but i'm gonna go in with a lip liner i just like to go in with like a nude lip liner oh this one's too pink i would like to go in with like more of a nude brownier but yeah i like to go in with a more of a brownier lip liner and just like clear gloss i forgot to grab the gloss so i'm gonna go in with some lip balm just to kind of show you guys and then i also like to take it up a notch this piece of hair just keeps making me look crazy and i like to use a body glow this one is from soul it's the soul soft gold um shimmering dry body oil there's one from hard candy too that i really like as well and that one's like transfer proof so just, just kind of shook it everywhere but this one comes in a pump but it is like very liquidy so if you just like you see how it's like running And so I just like to, and it smells so good. I was about to get rid of this brush. It's like a really big foundation brush and I do like it, but I was trying to like downsize my makeup collection or my brush collection. And, but then I was like, you know what? This would be a nice like buffing brush for like body. And then I'm just gonna put some on my shoulders. Cause it just looks so beautiful. And that's it. The Latte Makeup Look Summary Bronze. I love this makeup look. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time. Bye guys.